Hey guys, it's Chris with Better Editor, and today I am giving you some free software. Merry Christmas! Now, officially it's pay what you want, but it is useful and it's very simple, so I'm hoping that you'll be generous enough to throw in a buck or two if you download it. Now, what does it do? It duplicates folder structures. I know, really exciting! So, if you're doing any sort of serious video editing or even other work on a computer, there's going to come a time where you want to duplicate a folder structure, but you don't want to include all of the files that might be buried inside of that folder structure. Now, this is a pretty intricate one that I have for a project that I used in my latest course, Advanced Workflows for Premiere Pro. And as you can tell, it's got a ton of files in here and a lot of buried folders. And all I want to do is duplicate this entire structure. I don't want to keep all of the files. So doing a quick Google search, you really don't find any sort of software that'll do that for you easily. Now you can do it with command prompt, you can do it with terminal, you can do it with PowerShell, but what if you don't wanna mess with having to write pseudo code? Well, I've developed this program called Duplicate Directory, and it's as simple as it looks. All you have to do is select the source path, select the destination path, and hit duplicate. In a matter of seconds, you now have a duplicated folder structure. If we click through this, every one of those folders and the subfolders that are inside of this source directory have now been moved into this example project. But there's no files. You can download this for free at the Better Editor website, the link's in the description, and it's pay what you want. So if you don't think it's worth any money, but you still want it, download it. If you think that it is worth a buck or two just because it's really helpful, please feel free to throw in a tip. Okay, so you say that you don't want to use my free software that I made. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to take any offense to that. Some other methods that we can do that, like I mentioned, are using PowerShell and Windows, or we can use Terminal and Mac, and I'm about to show you how to do both of those things, starting with PowerShell. Okay, so we're back at our main folder. We're going to duplicate this Media Scramble King folder. To do that in PowerShell, I'll come down here and right-click Windows, PowerShell. Move this over here so we can see it. And I'm just going to say Robo Copy and I'm going to drag in my source folder, space, drag in my destination folder, and then I'm gonna add the arguments forward slash E, forward slash XF, and the asterisk for a wildcard, and hit enter. It'll read out some stuff, and in a moment, it's done. You have the exact same folder structure without files, just as duplicate directory did, but you had to go through Windows PowerShell. Okay, but let's say you're on a Mac and you want to duplicate a folder structure inside Terminal. This is how you do it. Hey, would you look at that? Duplicate directory is on Mac too. Ah, that's so cool. Anyways, I'm sure you just want to learn how to do this in Terminal and you don't want that free piece of software. So we'll jump into Terminal and we're going to again duplicate this same directory that we've been looking at. So over here, we're going to use the rsync command, which is a very powerful command with a ton of arguments of which we can also make it duplicate a directory without any files. So type rsync, and then we're going to add dash av dash f open quotation plus space asterisk forward slash close quotation space dash f open quotation dash space asterisk and close quotation. Okay, we'll do that. Then we drop in our source folder. Just click and drag. Make sure there's a space and then we can click and drag our destination folder hit enter, and the command is not found because I don't know how to type rsync. That's so embarrassing. Let me fix that real quick. And we hit enter, boom, and it works. Look at that. And all of our folders have been duplicated without any of the files. Pretty awesome. So that's all there is to duplicating directories without files. Now, I developed Duplicate Directory as a resource for my Advanced Workflows class, and I'm giving it to you guys in hopes that you'll want to check out my Advanced Workflows course. It's a great thing for anybody that's interested in video editing and wants to pursue it as a professional career. So I hope you'll check it out. Um, links in the description below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and also click that like button.